With rumors that Apex is going to be releasing an OG mode soon, let's talk about things only OG players will remember. And a lot of this will surprise you because Apex used to be very weird. What do I mean by this? Well, starting off, you used to literally be able to put two to four times sights and three times sights on the R99 and alternator. This was ridiculous, mostly because the R99's recoil was insane and was not made to have a four times sight on it. Respawn removed this pretty early into the game and you can probably see why. Although there's one thing you probably think has been in the game since the very start, but it actually hasn't, and that is the firing range mode. Yes, seriously, the firing range mode was only added to the game in the Season 3 collection event, and people were very happy that they were getting a very simple mode where they could shoot dummies. Before the firing range mode was added, you still could access the firing range, but only through the training mode, where you were basically forced to do a tutorial for Apex Legends. Seriously, imagine how weird it would have been without being able to go into the firing range to test new weapons, to test combinations, or simply just 1v1 your friends. This was the genuine reality until Season 3, and not many people remember. But let's talk about a point of interest that was only in the game for two months. This was the shortest lived point of interest ever, and it's not quite OG, but this was back in Season 7, so it's still very old. But back when Olympus released, it looks like this. And when you see this map, try to visualize every point of interest from its name, like a Oasis, like Bonsai Plaza, but then we get to Cargo Hold. Cargo Hold? Not a lot of people remember Cargo Hold. This was a point of interest which used to be where Fight Night currently stands, that was only in the game for two months, as it came out of the Olympus map release at the start of Season 7, and was replaced by Fight Night in the Season 7 collection event only two months later. Cargo Hold was a very, very dodgy point of interest. It had a lot of verticality, and a lot of dodgy positions, and also a giant zipline where I fell to my death many times. Don't get me wrong, this point of interest was very fun, but honestly, it was really annoying to fight in if you didn't have a Horizon on your team. But to be honest, back in Season 7, everyone was playing Horizon, so it wasn't too much of an issue. I must say though, I don't miss this point of interest, just not a lot of people remember it. One thing I'm sure 99% of you don't remember, unless you are a very OG player, is that first of all, the L-Star was a weapon that was added to the game post-launch, it didn't release with the game, but also, the L-Star used to have have a reload animation. Yes, seriously. Currently right now, the L-Star has no reload animation because it works on an overheat based system, and the only animation kind of resembling a reload is when you overheat the gun and have to change the core inside. But back in the day when the L-Star was first released and it was a gold weapon, you could actually reload this mag right here, and this was the animation. Yes, seriously, up until Season 4, you had to manually reload the L-Star while at the same time having to manage its overheating as well so you could overheat your gun twice and also have to reload within about 20 bullets which is extremely annoying this was until season 4 where this was completely reworked the reloading was removed from the l star and the l star was buffed overall to make it a nicer weapon but we can't forget what we lost a fairly cool animation also the l star energy mag is actually the icon the game uses for energy mags which is an interesting fact staying on the topic of energy weapons though the havoc used to be very different as well before the havoc was nerfed buffed nerfed again, it did used to have a completely different way of playing, where it could shoot a laser. Seriously, back in the day in Apex, there used to be a hop-up called the Select Fire Receiver, which went on the Prowler, where you could switch it between Auto and Burst, and also the Havoc, where you could switch it between Auto and Single Fire. And the Havoc Single Fire mode wasn't just one little spur, no, it was a completely different thing where it shot a laser. The hit scan laser was cool, but not a lot of people used it, and also it kind of became useless when Respawn released the charge rifle as well. So this is one of those hop-ups and firing modes that's probably dead and never going to come back. Back in the early days of Apex though, more specifically Season 2, there was one hop-up which created a meta so strong we have never seen a meta like this in Apex again. And this was the alternator disrupt around meta, where combining the alternator and the disrupt around hop-up made a hell of a gun. The disrupt around hop-up would increase the alternator's damage to shields, which was extremely powerful and this meta was absolutely insane. And this meta temporarily made the alternator the king of the game, and it was that strong that after season 2, the disrupt rounds weren't added into the game as a hop-up for 16 seasons. Respawn were just that scared of having to balance them. Luckily though, they're just on the floor in the game now. Respawn seemed to have managed to figure out balance with them. But oh my god, this hop-up scared Respawn bad when it started the disruptor meta. One strange thing Respawn nerfed around this time though, was one of Pathfinder's skins, and more 
specifically on his skin, the amount of booty he had. Yes, seriously. This nerf took place on this skin right here, and this is what it looks like now. You know, it looks like a normal skin. But this is what it used to look like. Oh my god, why did they make him so thick? Seriously, I don't know who designed this skin, but they were kind of cooking. Unfortunately though, because this skin didn't really represent Pathfinder's hitbox properly, Respawn had to nerf it and shrink down his absolutely giant thighs to these measly little things here. Honestly, to a degree, I'm glad they did this because before this skin was nerfed, people were making very strange art of the skin and it would have only got worse. Moving on though, a lot of you watching this video right now may be aware that Season 23 is around the corner, and Respawn are laying down teasers, and we have one currently playing out in-game right now, but did you know Respawn used to go a lot harder on the teasers, from making elaborate exclusive maps, to adding the character's abilities in-game before the character was even released. And this is what they did with Octane. This took place in Season 0, and actually gave people an opportunity to test out Octane's jump pads, as Respawn added Octane's jump pads around the market points of interest. People started finding these and thought they were very weird, but quickly realised they were a teaser for the next Legends. And I just wish Respawn would do more stuff like this, because imagine being able to mess around with the next Legends tactical ability before they even came out. That would generate some crazy hype. But no, Respawn would rather add new currencies to the game. Speaking of currencies, there's actually a currency Respawn had in the game back in Season 2, which only lasted for one collection event, and this was the Crown's currency in the Iron Crown event. This currency could only be obtained through Iron Crown packs, and basically replaced the two rewards on the side, and this is what the currency looked like. It is pretty interesting that they decided to make a whole model for this currency which would drop from packs, and I don't know why they haven't done this again, but what could you use this currency on? Well, along with the Iron Crown collection event, it also had had a store on the side, which you could only buy from using this currency you got from opening packs. This store contained some small things like epic skins and also banner frames, and was overall an interesting concept that Respawn explored but never really did anything with. But if you see any of these items in game, just know the person who's using the item used a currency that no longer exists, which is weird to think about. And the final OG thing I want to talk about is very OG, because not only was it a long time ago, but also you had to play the game during a very, very, very specific time to experience this mode. And this mode was a second chance mode during the War Games event. The War Games event was a pretty interesting event concept Respawn had, where they had four unique LTMs which would be rotated in and out during the two week collection event and one of these modes was called Second Chance. And the thing is, this mode was carrying a very bad glitch, where stats would not be counted. Very bad, I know. And because of this glitch, only 8 hours after Respawn added the Second Chance mode into the game, they removed it, and then never added it back. Seriously, if you played the second chance mode, congrats, because of nearly six years of Apex being live, you played in a random eight hour gap where they released a mode that never touched the game again. Although second chance has basically been re-added to the game with revivals, as they both have very similar functions of when you die, you respawn. But subscribe to keep up to date if respawn do add an OG mode, because some of this information might come in useful. 